Unfortunately, guys, that's not the case. And that's why many of my clients find me just by doing a Google search and by telling me the horror stories of what you're about to see. And to prove my point even more, we'll see where this is going. So we're going to drive this crooked metal and we're going to see what's going to happen now with this cut. Again, Jackson's going to film the top stepper motor to see what's happening during this. Hopefully we get a good result. Not sure what's going to happen. Many of you may be wondering what my feelings are using 3D printed components on CNC plasma chassis. And the truth of the matter is I never recommend using any plastic components delving in CNC where tolerances are critical. It's not that they can't be used. It's that there are better substrates for these applications. And I'm speaking purely as an engineer in the sense that nothing will hold up like metal over duration on top of the fact plastic melts. So we already know plasma torches easily cut through steel with heat and essentially how could heat as a byproduct be good to have around plastic? It really isn't, guys. So, again, we have to look at things in a logical format. I'm not saying there's not new composites out there that are extremely durable, as easily as durable as metal in some instances. But overall, for longevity, I would highly recommend going with the metal substrate. And I would certainly recommend metal substrates when you're looking at tolerances that are critical.